Hey, welcome to a quick video here on Free Will Photos. Today, I'm just gonna edit an image. I haven't been active, been having some computer issues, so hopefully today is going to be a good opportunity to get some photos onto the channel. Now, uh, what you have in front of you is just a random photo that I took after it rained in my backyard of a leaf. Now, I'm gonna start off by changing the color profile or the camera profile, I'm sorry. And I think Vivid actually looks pretty good for this image. And what I'm gonna do is try and make those greens really, really pop. Now, I wanna take a look at AI Auto, and that's just over baking the photo. Let's see if anything else can really be restored here. Uh, this may work out. Let me hit turning that off and on. It's a little bright in the center there, but I think I could work with that. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up on the vibrancy because again, I want these greens to pop and that's all I'm going to do in the develop module. And let's jump over to effects. We're gonna hit add filter and I'm gonna click on flora. That's not gonna do much. Hover over, I mean, uh, food. Eh. We'll leave the AI masking alone for right now. I'm gonna click on color enhancer and I'm going to click on foliage. This is just a preset that comes with on one. And that really makes things green now, doesn't it? So let me just pull this back. Let's make this make sense. Uh, probably somewhere around here. Yeah, just something to give that a little bit more greenness. And I can probably saturate the overall uh effect here and then I'll pull up on the yellow to or I'm sorry the warmth <laughs> wow haven't done this in a while there we go and I think that's helping with the overall image now there's some distractions as you can see we have this little dust spot here and or not a dust spot I guess it's from the spider web so let's go over to our healing brush and I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller. Click once. That's going to find a new location and sample that away. Now the rest of the image, I'm actually okay with these cobwebs that are leading in to the actual image there. So we'll leave that be and let's add in a bleach bypass. Now I do this from time to time uh, because look at how much drama it just instantly adds to the image. I like dramatic photos. I really enjoy pulling out the contrasty look in the image. So that's why I'm adding in this particular filter. And honestly, the base version of this looks really good. And if I go over to darker, I think that that looks pretty good too. And I'm just looking through some of the uh, built-in presets here to see if either of them really inspires me. I think I'm going to go with Omaha Beach. Now, this gives like that really nice aesthetic, that vibe, uh, desaturated. So I'm kind of getting rid of that punch. But here's what I can do. I want that green to still shine through, but everything else I think can take this effect. I'm going to try, I've, I haven't tested this, all right? I'm just trying this out. I'm gonna try adding in a color range mask. I'm gonna click on the green, and what I want to do, let's hit the letter O. Okay, so right now it's applying to the greens. What I want the what I want to do is actually get the inverse of this. So to do that, I'm going to click on invert and that's going to give me the opposite effect. So if I hit the letter O, I can see that this effect is only applying to the background, which I'm going to need to really push up what I think is a green and now it's doing nothing. So maybe go the opposite direction. Yeah, now we're starting to see that effect just take place. And what it's helping with is drawing the attention right here 
onto this front leaf. Now, obviously, I think I like what the um, effect was doing on the front leaf here. Front leaf, not front leafed. Um, so what I want to do is going to hit shift X and let's paint this in on the leaf because I think I like the effect that I was getting on the leaf and I'm going to do a before and after to see if I actually did like this effect by going command Z command shift Z uh, Yeah, I like it with it on the leaf. So let's turn this off and on, see what's happening here. I really like what's drawing us into this particular image. Now, the last thing that I'm going to try to do here, I'm going to add another filter. And on this one, I'm going to add a tone enhancer. And I am going to boost the, uh, or actually, I'm going to pull down on the exposure. Now, obviously this doesn't look very good, so I'm going to hit the letter M to get the masking bug, and then I'm going to click on Reflected Gradient. Click here in the center and just pull this kind of off to the side. And I'm just trying to make an effect that fades the light gently over this leaf. And what I may need to do is pull down on the exposure just a little bit more and what you're seeing and what I may also do is add in this time uh oh come on work with me computer we're gonna go with a linear left and I don't think that that's gonna work for us so we're just gonna get rid of that we're gonna delete that one and I will just grab a brush and I'll do it like this we'll make it a little bit larger and pull down on the opacity and just paint that in so that way the focus really is on the leaf I didn't do like a vignette I did more of a light fall off and what I can do is just pull back on the opacity of this particular tone enhancer filter. And this gives us a very different look. You know, going from this to this is great. And, you know, the last thing that I could do, I don't necessarily need to do it, but it's in on one. We'll throw a dynamic contrast on top of here. And what I will probably do with this is invert it and only paint this in. We'll bring the opacity back up to 100 and bring my brush size down a bit and just paint the dynamic contrast in right over that leaf. And that kind of gives that three dimensional effect. You could always overdo this, but I kind of like what I'm getting out of this particular image. So there's the quick edit for today. I was kind of just experimenting and just wanted to share with you what I would do when I sit down and I'm just trying to edit a photo. So hopefully you found value in that. If you did, smash the like button. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. My name is Chris. I make videos centered around editing inside of All One Photo Raw. I'd love to have you as a subscriber and talk with you in the comments. So until next time, I want you to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.